what's up guys y'all already see it man we're about to unbox the air jordan 4 in the military black colorway i hope you guys all hit everybody that wants this shoe i'm pretty hyped up to see what this shoe looks like only because it's been a while since i've been like super geeked about a jordan release this year uh, there hasn't been anything really that's grabbed my attention but these jordan 4s i don't know what it is man i i could do without any other jordan silhouette than the one and the four like if i had to give up all my other jordans and i only could pick two silhouettes it'd be the ones and the four I've never even as a kid I've never liked covering my tongue with the pants I don't like putting pants over the tongue of my sneaker I love seeing a lot of the sneakers so that's why I can't even get into the trend of wearing the baggy boot cut pants or whatever with the where they go over the tongue I can't do that bro I gotta show the whole sneaker I gotta I love seeing my sneakers from up top you know even if nobody else is looking I like to see my sneakers fours is one of them sneakers that the tongue just naturally keeps them pants tucked behind it so that's why I like the fours but yeah let's talk about these shoes man we're gonna unbox them real quick i don't want to spend too much time because this is also a on feet video if you guys want to skip over go ahead and just hit that like button i appreciate it. you don't even have to subscribe if you don't want to but if you do want to hey, man, i appreciate that too uh but yeah this package here comes from fine line 1721 if you guys do not know who that is uh that's actually the guy that was doing early sneakers before stock x and go he was, he's been doing early sneakers for a while it kind of stopped for a little bit and it looks like he's back on it so this is the first this is the first time in a long time since I've since I bought anything from him. The last sneaker I bought from Fine Line was the Chicago Jordan 3s, the, the, the ones that said shy on the back, the special editions or whatever. They weren't even special edition. They ended up being like super GR. But look at what we have here, guys. We have the Air Jordan 4 box. It kind of reminds me of that Taupe Haze Jordan 4 box that we got. And here it is, man. Size 9, true to size. The Jordan 4 is definitely a silhouette that you want to go true to size in. It's not one that you want to go up a half or down a half unless you absolutely have to. And unless that's the only thing that's left on the shelf for you to get for retail. Uh, the colorway is white, black, neutral, gray. Uh, Air Jordan 4 Retro. And price tag is somewhat hefty on these guys. Retail is 210 on these sneakers. The price, the retail price tag is getting up there every single year but anyway man let's get on with the freaking shoe flight on top of the box you guys see it flight you got the red jump man um the cement what cement metallic silver print throughout the box there's the bottom of the box for you guys if you guys want to take a look at the bottom of the box there it is right there and let's look at the shoes bruh because that's what we came here to see here it is. Any lot number on the top of the lid? There's no lot number, guys. I don't see any lot number. I don't know. I don't see one there. But here, behind the cement white paper is the Air Jordan 4 Military Black. And it is looking buttery and buttery and buttery from, from where I'm sitting. This shoe is looking good. It's smelling good. I could already smell this shoe. Um, I could already see that plush leather on the, the shoe, guys. Check the shoe out, man. Yo, very nice. Very nice shoe. Look at the back. There it is, man. The jump, man. And the white, the black pull tab. Hey, man. It's white and black, and it's got some of that gray palette throughout, throughout the mudguard. And yes, this shoe is nice, dude. This shoe is going to be very nice. The one thing that I kind of don't like, which is kind of weird, a lot of you guys are probably going to think that I'm weird for this, but I don't like the super tumble leather on fours. I've never been a fan of it. I got rid of my Paris Saint Germain Jordan fours because of it, because I just felt like the leather was just too... It made the shoe a little bit more bulkier than what it had to be because of the tumble leather. So I'm going to be honest with you. With you guys of course i gotta keep it i gotta keep it real with y'all man yeah i don't really like this tumble leather it just kind of gives the shoe off like a bulkier look uh than what it needs to be i kind of like that flat leather that's that was on the fours uh but yes uh, a lot of people think that i'm crazy for that you guys see the black behind the netting here and then of course your wings are gonna have the black on them the military black it's it's exactly what you guys will see on pictures and this isn't a shoe that you really need in hand to uh to decide whether you want to buy it or not this is exactly what you see on pictures here's a jump man with the flight underneath you know um i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of b-roll of the shoe i'm not gonna go too much into detail with this sneaker just that yeah it was this was meant to be the military blue fours 
and you know Jordan brand decided to go another way with this and they went with the black and white which I, I don't blame them dude it's a fresh color um, it's, it's definitely a fresh sneaker a lot of people are gonna be wearing these all summer I could already see it we go on vacation to Disney World or wherever you go I'm pretty sure you're gonna see a lot of these sneakers all over the place um, I don't know if there's gonna be a whole lot of them I'm, I mean Jordan brands ha has been somewhat limited but to to the stuff that they're dropping but this seems like one that should have been pretty easy to produce other than this little spit of suede on the mudguard um you know but uh, it, it, it doesn't look like it was like a difficult sneaker where they had to kind of limit the amount of sneakers that they were going to produce but hey man it is what it is here is the shoe i was pretty excited for these and i knew that i was not gonna hit because i did strike out on all the flex apps uh so i won't be able to go and grab a pair of these in store make sure y'all hit the like button hit the subscribe button let's get to 3,000 subs and just let me know your your thoughts and opinions on this sneaker and just let other people know your thoughts and opinions um i I urge you to do that because it just it gets the conversation going in the comments section and it and you sometimes people will help each other out in the comments so if you guys have any kind of questions too i answer those in the comments as well but yeah man it is your boy jay hernandez let's throw these on feet let's see how they look like on feet let's see if they look fresh on feet and i'm out of here man on to the next video i hope you guys enjoyed the channel saludos hasta luego on to the next one stay tuned it's your boy peace man stay blessed